That's what's going on. Well, welcome in. So I literally just wrapped up doing a video with the uh, Mercedes Lewis news. Uh, again, according to Adam Schefter, he's literally been linking former Packer players to the Jets all day. 8.30 this morning, Alan Lazard. A couple hours after that, Randall Cobb. Now, what, t uh, 15, 20 minutes ago here, Mercedes Lewis. I'm taking the video down, or I put, I, I just deleted the video because Diana Rossini is reporting that Aaron Rodgers supposedly has provided the New York Jets with, <laughs> with a wish list of free agents he would like them to target and acquire per sources. The list includes Randall Cobb, Alan Lazard, Mercedes Lewis, and Odell Beckham Jr. Okay, uh, <laughs> I mean, and I talked about this in the in the video that I, I'm, I'm, I I just got rid of, but I think Mercedes Lewis is probably the biggest indication that Aaron Rodgers, let me knock on wood here, should be coming to the Jets, right? You're looking at this Jets team, they have Tyler Conklin on the roster, CJ Uzama on the roster, J Jeremy Ruckert on the roster. We also have to keep in mind that Joe Douglas just restructured Conklin's deal and Uzama's. In other words, they're kicking the can down the road. They're go these two players' contracts are going to be on the books longer. So it's, it, it's, in essence, just going to take longer for the Jets to pay these guys off. Now, all of a sudden, they have interest in a, what, a 37, 38-year-old tight end, somebody who's a uh, 16, 17-year veteran in football, a guy who had six catches last year, just so happens to be a former Packer, just so happens to be great friend. <laughs> great friends with Aaron Rodgers, um, just so happens to be a great run blocker in the Nathaniel Hackett system. All this is a coincidence. No, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. I, I think the Jets know what's going on behind the scenes. Um, according to, again, according to Rossini here, we have all these former Packer players. We heard, who was it, Brees Hall or Sauce Gardner say that it was going to be a package deal. Multiple players are going to be coming in the building. I felt like a lot of Jets fans kind of knew that because Rodgers, it's, kind of well known that Rodgers might prefer to play with the with the older veterans as opposed to a bunch of young players but I mean man that's one two th three wide receivers and one tight end neither position you know when we're looking at both of those pass catching positions they're they don't jump off the page as like huge team needs right? We can go down the list of available talented options that the Jets have and it makes you think yes the Jets release Braxton Berrios but Will the Jets trade? Will the Jets release Corey Davis? Will they trade Corey Davis to the Packers? Is one of these wide receivers involved in a potential trade to Green Bay? That's kind of been my stance um, since these whole, um, you know, really since the beginning here. I've always kind of felt like Green Bay, a team that is losing Cobb, losing Lazard, they're really relying so much on two re two young receivers going into year two, Romeo Dobbs and Christian Watson. And their plan is to roll out Jordan Love. I think it makes sense if you know if Green Bay is getting rid of their veteran quarterback and Rodgers. We got to make sure Love has enough help. He has enough weapons. What better position to ask for? And granted, running back is important too. But they have Aaron Jones. What better position to ask for? You know, from the Jets than wide receiver. You can maybe go get Denzel Mims, who's requested a trade a young, cheap wide receiver still on his rookie deal. You can maybe go get Elijah Moore, young, cheap wide receiver that has requested a trade. Maybe Corey Davis, a veteran wide receiver. Granted, he's missed a lot of time. He's always, uh, it doesn't really seem like he can stay healthy. Um, I think reliabil re you know, reliability is somewhat of a question mark with Corey Davis. And obviously he's more expensive than the previous two guys that we you know just mentioned here but um to me that makes all the sense in the world from the jets perspective and from the packers perspective you know it sweetens up the deal green bay can walk away get jordan love another um oh let's see more breaking news uh mike oh no saints are going to retain michael thomas um it, it makes total sense right green bay you're getting extra help and then for the new york jets you can now bring in the guys that aaron wants so again i i, I don't want to jinx anything I'm going to go absolutely nuts. I, I'm going to go berserk when that news breaks, when that notification becomes, you know, official that Aaron Rodgers is going to be traded to the New York Jets. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. This has been one insane ride. One insane ride. Absolutely crazy. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate By the way, before I end the video, I just want to quickly say, you know, over these past couple of weeks, obviously, um, 
you know, Aaron Rodgers is such a hot topic and a lot of people are checking out the videos, you know, liking the videos. And I just wanted to quickly say thank you. You know, that, that stuff means the world to me. And I love how we're all in this together here. So anyway, thanks so much. I appreciate it. And as always, go Jets.